This is an official Guinness World Records attempt. I felt I was losing everything. I'm Dr Claire Guest and I'm co-founder and chief executive of the charity Medical Detection Dogs. Medical detection dogs, we use the dog's incredible sense of smell to detect human disease. We now know that dogs can be trained to find these diseases by using their nose with incredible accuracy and reliability. So a uh, little dog like Iggy here, who's got quite a long nose, he'd have 350 million sensory receptors dedicated to olfaction. Us humans have got 5 million. So at the charity, we've got two sides to our work. One side is a, more like a research side where we're finding which diseases have an odour and how we can collect that odour most reliably. So for that work, dogs will be sniffing samples on stands. But we also have a, a, a medical assistance dog project and that's where dogs are working one-on-one -on -one with an individual who has a, a medical condition and those dogs are actually warning the person before their medical condition becomes acute so preventing a hospital admission. Good. In both cases, the dog is using this incredible sense of smell, but of course it's applied in slightly different ways. So when we're teaching a dog to detect a disease, what we're doing is say, if you, if you find the odour of this disease, if you smell it, tell me about it and I'll, I'll give you a reward. Yes, <laughs> really excited to hold the record it said that we have trained dogs to detect 28 different diseases reliably so it's really exciting. My name is Sophie Aziz and I am Head of Research and Commercial Development at Medical Detection Dogs. The record we are attempting today is the most consecutive medical samples identified by dogs. Today's record is set up with each dog having their own identified target odour. And the target odour is a positive sample of each individual disease. So the diseases that we have today are Pseudomonas, COVID-19, Parkinson's disease, prostate cancer and POTS, which is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Each of the dogs will be asked to search out their sample in turn. So we'll set the line up with each disease laid out on the stands. The dog will be sent down the line by the trainer and they will be asked to indicate their sample. Once each dog has seen that line and identified their own sample correctly, the line will be randomised and the dogs will be sent again. And we'll basically keep doing that until somebody makes a mistake. Hello, my name's uh, Mark Somerville and I'm the Biodetection Training Coordinator here at Medical Detection Dogs. My name's Liv, I'm a Biodetection Trainer here at Medical Detection Dogs. So we're working today on Bumper. He's a five-year-old golden retriever and he's been trained to detect Parkinson's disease. I'll be working Jodie today. She is a yellow Labrador and she detects Pseudomonas. Yeah, the next dog I'll be working is Jude. He's a yellow Labrador, about four years old now, and he's been trained to detect POTS. I will also be working Florin. She is a fox red Labrador and she will be detecting prostate cancer. And the third dog I'm working today is Lexi. She's one of our older dogs. She's eight years old. She's a yellow Labrador and she's been trained to find COVID-19. I'm very confident. I think we're going to smash the record today. I love the dogs and they love their jobs, so I know they're going to make us proud. Uh, today's record attempt, I'm, I'm quite confident. These dogs are experienced dogs and they've been doing their job a long time. So hopefully their training shows through and we get a positive outcome. This is an official Guinness World Records attempt. Three, two, one, go. Okay. 
The record started off really strong with all of the dogs really confidently going for their target odours. We hit a bit of a rocky bit in the middle. Let's see. Oh. More recently, we've worked with a condition called POTS. Now, POTS is a drop attack syndrome. Somebody uh, with POTS would have no uh, awareness at all that they were about to immediately collapse and black out. Incredibly, the dogs can give a three to five minute warning meaning that that person can make themselves safe and prevent uh, a, an accident and hospital admission. So my name is Demi and this is my medical alert dog bear. I have POTS, which stands for Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome and Sinus Node Dysfunction. Um, POTS means that my heart rate goes up quite high and my blood pressure can drop, which is associated with postural changes and sinus node dysfunction means that my heart rate can go very high, it can go very low and I can experience pauses and skipping beats as well. My heart just does things which it shouldn't really do. So before I was diagnosed with my health problems I used to be a dancer and I became unwell very suddenly and had to stop instantly which was really hard and I've always been brought up that you kind of keep going and you don't give up so I went to university and attempted to do a degree and it was it was really tricky it took me five years to nearly do a three-year degree and I dropped out in the final three months because I just I just couldn't do it and I hit a point where I looked at my life and I felt I was losing everything sorry anything that was good I seemed to lose and now now I have that everything's kind of fallen together and the dreams which I had before and they were so out of reach and they were impossible and now I feel like I'm living the dream so I'm a dance teacher and that's that was my dream and I love it and everything just seems to be amazing I hit some really low points before and I'm so happy now really happy everything's good <laughs> Everything's good <laughs> Bear has been trained that he gives me a about a four or five minute warning before an oncoming episode where my heart rate goes quite high. <laughs> Which is when I'm at risk of fainting. Um, this allows me to sit down in time so then I don't faint. Good. Can you get Bear is a really cheeky, happy dog. You can never wake up and, and have a dull day when Bear's around. He wakes up, wakes me up in the morning with his head resting on, on my bed and he wags his tail and he's just so excited for a new day. He loves his job. He's always alerting, he always alerts. Um, even when he's kind of off duty, um, he will never miss an alert. So even when he's sleeping, he'll wake me up through the night at home he's really playful, he loves cuddly toys so he's got a whole collection, probably the biggest collection any dog has. He absolutely loves water so we like going to um, our local stream and he gets in the water and he has a little happy dance. He's just a normal dog but really happy and silly. <laughs> So the attempt today was a really interesting one. The way that this record is set up is slightly different to how our dogs ordinarily work, where they'll have their target odour against negative samples, uh, which don't contain disease, but will sell, smell slightly similar to their target odour. So the dogs had to work slightly differently today in having to work past lots of different disease present samples. The record started off really strong with all of the dogs really confidently going for their target odours. Yes. Two. Yes. Six. Yes. Good. Five. We hit a bit of a rocky bit in the middle uh, with a couple of the dogs 
almost getting slightly bored of the game. This is kind of easy to compare to what we asked them to do in testing. And they started to peel off the line a bit and lose concentration. CC. So we had a bit of a rocky bit with Lexi particularly, who decided that a few of the stands at the end of the run weren't important enough to search. Lexi, come. ran really well and towards the end we had Bumper sit on a sample that wasn't his target odour of Parkinson's disease. He'd managed to find his Parkinson's sample loads of times really confidently and just got a little bit stuck on one and uh, just sat down a little bit too early in the line. We're really proud of what we've managed to achieve today. It's a fantastic record and we already know our dogs are superstars and they can find these diseases usually amongst very complicated samples that will smell very similar to the positive samples we lay out for them. So we're really happy with how they've done today. Uh, I'm really, really proud of them. So today, you and medical detection dogs attempted the record for most medical samples identified consecutively. And I'm really happy to say that you broke the record. So you've got two records now for medical <laughs> Fantastic. Dogs. Many Incred congratulations. Incredibly proud of the dogs and their incredible noses. It's all about the dogs. Thank you so much. We're really proud to receive this. Medical Detection Dogs is so excited to have achieved this record today. I mean, not only does it show the ability of our dogs, something that we always knew, but it also shows how reliably they can detect these diseases, even in, you know, quite a sort of um, unusual situation. So we're really, really proud. I'm sure the dogs are really excited about having made a new record today. Although I think the thing they're probably most pleased about is that they all got their biscuits and their rewards. Iggy seems, I have to say, unimpressed, but I'm sure he's very, very pleased about what his canine friends have managed to achieve.